Hello peeps, welcome to another vlog. I'm gonna put you on this very long was this mission against terror no mouse pad. Oh shit it's long like my dick. So let's uh, put you down next to the mouse and uh, hopefully everything will be all dandy and fine. Oh fuck this tripod. Damn it. Uh okay. Ah Okay. Yeah. I already have a tripod, which I bought from the Lazada, and the the screw is too big. It's for DSLRs. Fuck. Should have read the instructions properly before I plop down twenty seven ringgit, which is roughly about four point three ringgit to one US dollar. Six US dollars for uh, the no like uh, it's not a Joby with uh, Joby Gorilla port. Uh, it's not a Joby Gorilla port, which uh, Casey Nice that uses uh, one of the YouTube not YouTubers the comp the use the people watch my videos. Thank you very much. Support me, give me some money. Patreon, come on, cough it up. I know you have regular jobs, unlike moi. Which I don't have a job. And you, if you tell me to get a regular job and not do YouTubing, fuck you, ban you. Uh, I hopefully now my fuck it. I, I'm very thirsty. Now my I I get to like upload these videos. I did not upload at all. Yes, I'm looking at my screen. And as you know, I'm back in Nepo. Today is the 2nd of June 2017, it's 1.19am Yes, uh, do I have my stuff here? Okay, okay, I, uh, I got 3.7, uh, 3.21 gigs of stuff to upload They will take less than, I'm not sure actually, this is the first time I've uh, come back to Ipo in 3 months since this year's Chinese New Year, I was stuck in Kuala Lumpur for three fucking months I, and I felt so, so like, oh, so tired, so fucking tired. Uh, this is a sniffer thing, you know, there's a cotton inside there that sucks in the oils that you put into it or introduce into it, like lavender and whatnot. This one was made by Diana Yusuf. Who is the darling and still very pretty, even though she's about fifty years old? Actress, she was very hot, or is still pretty hot actually, pretty cute and hot, still single. So this is uh, made by her, and I've been using it for a month or less. I'm not sure. So uh, I'm so tired. What is this vlog about? I'm not sure actually. Fuck it. Give me some money, Patreon. Besides, uh, uh, Wilson Lee of Singapore giving me five US dollars every month. Thank you very much, Wilson Lee. And if you look down or at the background here, this is a piece of paper and that's my artwork there. Of course, I haven't done artwork in a long, long time. I've been devoting my time towards YouTube, of course, uh, all the events and all that shenanigans like beauty pageants. And, Nowadays, if you look at my, my channel's fashion, beauty pageants, what the fuck happened? One of the things that uh, that is important for me, the evolution of this uh, channel, is it either it devolves or it evolves. <coughs> Sorry about that. Either it comes better or it comes worse. So Wilson Lee loves or likes this channel because he likes long form videos. Maybe he is the same person as I am, which is I like to like uh, I like to put I like to watch or not watch. I like to turn on videos that are longer than ten minutes because once I put on the video, I just put it at the side. They did the opera. Uh, the my main website thingy is opera and opera has a yo shit opera has a, a type of a, a, you know ability to put the window down here so it's cool uh, 
Firefox which I haven't used in a long time. I do use it. I got so many like so many web browsers here. Look at that. All these are web browsers. You know why I have them? Because I have so many channels which I do not update at all because wow. I mean at first uh, at the beginning of this year I wanted to like make a lot of channels which I did but I did not update it because it confuses the sh fuck out of me. So all I did was I have three main channels and that's uh, TV and uh, cosplay is the other one and the main one is which you are looking you are watching it at or in uh, I don't know. <coughs> events food and media that's the channel that I always put all the types of shit into it uh, I should actually like compartmentalize it and dump everything into specific channels but that takes a lot of work and I don't want to do lots of work and because YouTube is supposed to be fun. So I was in KL for like three months straight and did not come back to Ipoh even though I had a chance because my sister came back here to visit the parents, my parents too. And uh, uh, I did not come with her because it's uh, during the weekends and there were a lot of pageants and I had commi commitments so I did not come twice. Twice already she came here and I said no, I got work to do on a Saturday or a Sunday. So I was stuck in KL for a long long time and suddenly, oh, it's time to go. Uh, Ramadan came, Ramadan is the fasting month of the Muslim preference. So, oh, there's nothing much happening. So I look at my schedule which is uh, here. This is always my schedule. And lo and behold, this is for June. Quite empty. Nice. Came back, I got one week. Before I go back on the 8th or 9th of June because on Sunday there is a K-Pop World Festival at HELP University Subang and Campus. They are going to dance so hopefully I'm good. Wait, are they going to dance? Oh, it's a festival. <coughs> HELP University in Subang. I've never been there. Have I? I don't think so. There was another help university somewhere else there's a cosplay happening there and that's another help help uh, campus so I'm quite confused. And now my something like Sunway, Sunway name. The Sunway can be Sunway Pyramid, can be Sunway Velocity Mall, can be Sunway Property, so many Sunways everywhere. So help is like le everywhere. So you look at this, this this is my itinerary, my, my baby here. If I find some interesting things happening or some information, where do I get my information for all these events? Through Facebook, by liking all the companies and you will get, uh, they update, the, oh, we got this event, this event, this event. So I write it down here if I'm diligent. I write it down here, the ones that are interesting and I just dump it in here so it will be easier for me. <coughs> got this uh, plastic thing before. I got this plastic thing uh, from that concert that I sold you, which uh, introduced me to uh, Ray Velvet, Five Girls. I think I got my replacement for Tiara. Tiara is getting a bit old already. I think they are about 25 years old, so that's a bit too old for me to admire them sexually and musically. So now it's time to like devolve, uh, divert my sperm, my attention towards. Uh, Red Velvet, mm. Red Velvet, mm. I love you. So uh, this plastic is from the concert, I think. So I'm gonna, I put my my schedule thing here. And uh, before June, it's all tattered. It's like fucked up, all broken, all ears, rabbit ears and whatnot because it did not have a condom. But thanks to I saw you. Thank you very much, Soul City. From Korea, South Korea specifically, I get to protect it with this condom file. Lovely. <coughs> There's not much things here already. I got to, I got to go fill it up with some Xiang Pure oil, not minya angin or oil air air oil. Xiang Pure oil. I always call it Singapore oil. I'm not sure, but Xiang Pure. Uh, I don't have, I don't, I don't, uh, I'm gonna sneak into my father's room to get it, uh, to get it, so, remind me to actually talk about this piece of fucking paper. It's warm, there's no air con.
stole my mother's. So this Xiang Pure oil can be quite addictive. It's like a, you know, back in the long, long time ago in the Chinese uh, community or Chinese China Chinese world, they have uh, snuff bottles and stuff. This one is something like that. It, it calms you down, maybe clears your nasal, but it quite can be quite addictive. Sometimes uh, you get panic attacks. When I was very young, I get panic attack, at, panic attacks if I don't have my minya onion or air oil to sniff. Uh, hey. I guess uh, Wilson Lee also does all these things. Be addicted to all this crap. <coughs> so, uh, you've been seeing a lot of like, say, uh, fashion. There were five days of fashion from Stylo. So, now it's finished. I finished it already. Oh, thank God. It's like a fucking load when I finish all of these videos and just, oh. And guess what? I got six more months of fucking videos to actually release. <sighs> it's gonna be a lot of videos, and this 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 channel is gonna be like everyday fuck fest. It's like new videos and new videos and new videos. I don't even need to go out for one week, and still uh, I'll be swamped with new videos to release because I've been like accumulating them for no reason, and some sometimes every day, sometimes video error so I got to continue talking for again so I've been accumulating the videos every day sometimes I just don't feel like editing at all so I did not release any videos it's not that it, that I I mean I do not really I did I just like dump it all without any editing and cutting cutting throw away the useless videos I just release all of it so the the work comes in the finding of information you look at the description below there is a lot of links a lot of uh, people are featured inside the video or the topics inside the video is all down there for further reading like say from wiki from facebook so you can check it out in the description below and look at the patreon go and give me some money paypal too one donation one off you find it interesting give me some money because i need money so <clears throat> Uh, a lot of work, you know, putting all the information and putting the tags and all those things. A lot of work to me. I'm a lazy fucker, so that's a lot of work. But never mind. Back to this one paper here. Hopefully the recording won't fail. And I lose the whatever fucking shit. So Wilson, you'll be very, very uh, impressed by this one here. Uh, all the food in Penang is featured here. And the location too. Ooh, mommy. So I've done already one Juhui Cafe, which I don't think I released it because it's sitting in the hard drive somewhere. Uh, all my Penang trip uh, during Chinese New Year, which was three months ago, is still not uploaded. Shit. Uh, so many food here, so much easier for me to film if I were ever were to go to Penang. And of course, I, I'm going to release a video of Penang as soon as possible because I'm going to Penang in three weeks time four weeks time who knows so yeah i have to release all the old ones so enough of the shenanigans with all these uh, fashion shows and whatnot so the, the pageants beauty pageants of course is pretty awesome because well uh, you get to see pretty girls you don't get to fuck them of course not the judges right so just a humble videographer so coming uh, to pin to Ipo, I only brought two bags. One is this uh, green bag here, which housed my laptop, and this one here, the blue bag, which is my working bag with all the cameras and batteries, and of course the SD cards. It's all there. And uh, I have uh, currently I will be releasing the Miss Chinese World pageants, which is in the computer. And after releasing the Miss World pageants. I'm going to go into the Nokia 3, 5 and 6 launch which I attended not because they invited me, it's because I just got the information from my friend who has media contacts uh, from Banama which is a news outlet, the major news outlet in Malaysia told my friend and my friend told me so I went there, did not get the RSVP early, did not get a free Nokia 3310 phone because I did not have the red chop which indicates I RSVP so fuck but never mind pretty girls four of them or three 
depending on your case. Four of them, pretty girls there, shot a lot of pictures with them or pictures of them. So, this one I got this book brought with me because passwords are in here. What else do I have? Uh, ah, the NTV7, you realize that the NTV7 uh, full videos are there. There's about 30 smaller videos of the people in there, so I need this thing here with the itinerary, the names of the Chinese people <coughs> to release. Yes, there will be one day 30 <coughs> mini, video, mini videos. And uh, Stylo is finished already, I finished it today just now. And of course, this awesome thick book which has all the participants of Miss World. Miss Chinese girl, very pretty. I enjoy the show actually. There's one sexy, not a swimsuit section, but whew, close to it. I like it. I'm gonna see some nice. <clears throat> so let's see. My laptop has been having a lot of uh, some or a lot of issues in regards to like being slow because uh, I use Opera, right? And I think there are about fifty tabs so it slows down and it pisses me off and I get a feeling that the after four years it's almost four years already this, this laptop this GX70 from MSI that taught me not to buy anything from MSI and if I were to buy an MSI if that if MSI had a gun to my head and they asked me to buy an MSI laptop then I will definitely not choose anything from Radeon or from AMD, whether it's the chip or the graphics card, because fuck, bottleneck, man, this GX70 bottlenecks like a motherfucker when you do something else, like transfer files from this uh, normal SD card to a, uh, okay, transfer files from a laptop to a hard drive outside, it bottlenecks, the, everything slows down, holy shit, I'm not even processing videos, and just transfer files, bottlenecks, what the fuck? So fuck you, MS. Maybe MSI. Okay, MSI. You don't get a fuck you. AMD. Fuck your ass. No support. No regular updates on the drivers for your car, your CPU chip, or your graphics card. Fuck you. Where the fuck does AMD come from? It's bullshit. Don't buy from AMD. Buy from the more expensive Intel or the Nvidia chips. They have better support. So. Sometimes it's better to pay extra money for good support and better performance. AMD does not give you better performance, it gives you shit performance. <sighs> Even though they say the, the new chip, the Ryzen chip, they say, oh my god, it's so good. <coughs> <coughs> Unless it's only one ringgit or one US dollar, then I'll buy. If not, fuck off AMD. I just, one bad experience with AMD is enough to... to stop me from like ever supporting or ever think ever thinking of actually buying or supporting AMD fuck you AMD fuck you Fucking assholes hmm. so this laptop that I bought about uh, four years ago I bought in 29th of June 2013 for 4650 ringgit 4650 ringgit comes with HD 8970M 2 gigabytes of DDR5 graphics card. The chip or CPU is AMD A10 6 or was it 5? 5750M. 4650 ringgit. It's getting warm. I'm sorry, I'm going to take on my shirt. I <sighs> said no homo, okay? It's not to attract girls or attract guys, okay? It's just really fucking hot. When you live in Kuala Lumpur in a condominium, it's not that hot because high rise heat from the ground is like pulls up and gets blown away here on the ground uh, Ipo is a house it's a house it's kind of like humid and hot fuck I'm gonna lose weight so today is a trip from uh, KL to Ipo took me maybe four hours so uh, talk to an Indian guy at the rest stop from Kampung Simi in Ipoh. He says that the Korean noodles in Kampung Simi is pretty good in the marketplace. So I'm going to go there maybe tomorrow. Who knows? Maybe. 
strike while the iron is hot. If not, then after that, uh, fuck it, I don't, I don't go. So, uh, me and my buddy Hans, uh, we went to Laoya Plaza. Uh, he wanted to buy a power unit that powers his units, protects a power surge or something. It's a huge box. Power, you know, gives him 30 minutes of power. The power is cut off or something like that. I'm not sure, it's just, it's got too much money. So, uh, I can either buy a laptop from Asus, uh, it has to be 17 inch, if it's not 17 inch, I won't bother, because I'm used to 17 inch. 15 inch is uh, ubiquitous and a lot out there, but 15 inch is a bit too small. So, the best option for this is the Asus GL753V, Cost about 5,600 ringgit, 17 inches, uses the i7-7700Q, 8GB of RAM, 1TB, 128GB of SSD, and uses the GTX 1050, 4GB, comes with Windows 10. You want to pause it? It's up to you. That's the best, uh, you see the round, forget, ah, here it is, this is the round thing. That's the spec. So it's about 5,000. And I was thinking to myself, this laptop is still working, okay? Why the fuck do I need another laptop? So I was thinking, oh, I must buy a desktop. You get a desktop, it will be 1.5 times better than the, the bloody laptop. Or twice. Maybe it's not as much as twice as powerful, but maybe 1.5 more powerful. Every component inside the laptop the chip, and the graphics card, it's not as strong or not as good as the desktop counterpart, the components for the desktop is a given, okay, it's been compromised when they dump it inside the laptop for size, uh, the size has to like be compromised, it becomes smaller and therefore the performance of the cards or whatever is less powerful. So I went to the uh, a shop called C Zone and the guy there, they, I gave him a budget about four thousand bucks or five thousand ringgit, and he suggested uh, a couple of components here, which uh, I'm gonna read it to you because this is got them too small for you to actually read, right? So the Intel CPU is the of course i seven 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 zero zero, one thousand three hundred eighty three ringgit. The desktop memory suggests about uh, maybe 16 gigabytes, or was it 8 gigabytes of Kingston D4 PC2133. It costs about uh, how much? 509? What? 270 ringgit each. So double it. What does this mean? I forget. I'm not sure how many gigabytes it will come to in the end. I'm not sure whether to buy this or not. The desktop won't be in Ipoh, I'm not in Ipoh all the time, it will be in Kuala Lumpur and my sister is like volatile like a walk-in or I'm not sure when she is going to kick me out if I were to like look or do something stupid like throwing a dust speck on the floor. Then the Intel main, Intel main board will be the Asus Prime B250M-A, 450 ringgit. This is a suggestion, you know, by the person <coughs> there. Solid state drives, uh, M2 SATA, Kingston, two hundred forty gigabytes of uh, solid state drive is four hundred sixty one ringgit. This is quite standard the price. Okay, everything is uh, standard. You can't get it cheaper. Then uh, besides the solid state drive for the uh, for the bloody operating system, then there was the normal one which is the three point five inch SATA HDD. It suggests one terabyte, two hundred and ten ringgit. Why do I get the two terabyte? It's three hundred eighteen ringgit. It's cheaper to get two terabytes. It's from Western Digital for some blue desktop name for the SATA HDD. Then uh, I want to get the whole shebang. Uh, graphics card. It suggests Asus GTX ten sixty. 3 gigabytes D5 costs about 1100 ringgit. LCD monitor will be a 27 inch VX 
27 9n asus it's a 1920 times 1080 that means it's a full hd it's 700 ringgit 700 ringgit for the very huge screen power supply is a corsair vs 550w w says watt i think casing will be a generic one 200 ringgit and of course fuck original or original original license software will set me back uh, the windows 10 professional maybe oem 625 ringgit was a lot of money for bloody licensed software we should put, like just buy it simply buy a pirated one or or, or download from the, from the website 600 bucks is a lot of money man fucking hell i can buy a, like one month's worth of gundams so uh, besides that uh, he did not list anything speakers i don't need we already have a speakers in the very good speakers is like 20 years old or 10 years old i'm not sure that's from Altec lensing a-l-t-e-c then another word l-a-n-s-i-n-g that's like top-notch good speakers from 10 20 years ago nowadays i'm not sure whether they're still around i need an ip camera what the hell is an ip camera no, I mean, I would like to like take a video from the cam straight to me and don't need to like retire on the camcorder. Maybe do some gaming, who knows? Fucking hell, I might, might as well go do quick gaming. I don't have a Twitch account, so... Well, if you already have too many videos every day that you need to upload, why not add more? Like gaming. <sighs> what do I need? Uh... Gaming keyboard and mouse, hundred and sixty bucks. Do I need a hub? mouse? Already have one Logitech. This bought thirty ringgit from a stationery shop uh, called what's it? Popular. Popular. Popular is the name of the shop. I need no gaming mouse. I don't need anything else. I need a keyboard, of course. Uh. I don't need a gaming pad, I don't need the gaming surface, what the fuck is a gaming surface, I don't know. Gaming headphone, ah, I want a gaming headphone, you know why, because I need, uh, I really have the headphones from, it's been with me for years, man, and it still hasn't died on me. Panasonic, these are the ones that I use for my laptop and for riding around on my bike, so it's quite versatile and it hasn't died yet. So, Panasonic, good stuff. Uh... I need a gaming headphone because I would like to have something with a mic at least can speak to the if I do a recording on the camera or do some gaming shit at least I can talk to you guys I'm not sure how good the headphones will be or the quality of the audio will be some people say oh with a YouTuber but buy some kind of like setup uh, I know it looks like I'm straddling balls and, and pushing the shaft a mic, you know, I can speak to it and just dump it here and speak to the mic. Uh, I'm not sure what to buy, if you don't know, idea. So I want the gaming headphone because I want to have an audio thingy. It's easier. Print server? Webcam. What's the difference between IP camera and webcam? Oh, webcam is so expensive. What the fuck? So I want to buy a desktop because this laptop is limiting. Okay, can't do gaming. I mean, not much. If I play, I only play Company of Heroes two, and it slows down when I play the game. I don't have time to play games. Okay, so with a good laptop, oh sorry, get a good desktop. Maybe I'll go and play the games that I normally play when I was younger. Maybe play Metal Gear Solid 5, who knows, play Company of Heroes 2 without waiting a long time for the loading screen, maybe do some commentary while playing the game, who knows, anything is possible because with this laptop, if I were to record myself, of course the when I bought this, this laptop, this uh, camera does not work at all, even I'm so paranoid I have to put something to cover it up, uh, because I love to like, uh, <coughs> so... Uh, 
if you, when you record and you play the game at, uh, at the same time, it slows down, doesn't work because recording takes a lot of power or processing power, or memory, so many things. Oh, god damn it, pisses me off actually. So, I got to do work. I have seven days in Ipo and I'm, I got my bike. I'm gonna fix the fucking bike. I'm gonna tell the mechanic here and just look for trouble and the brakes, okay? It's not, it's not, it's not good. The brakes is terrible. Better like uh, change the brakes because it's not, it's not having traction when I push the goddamn thing and it's just not, it's not stopping. So please change it something like that get new wheels maybe who knows it's gonna cost me a bomb it's a lot of money okay involved in buying a desktop which will set me back about six thousand ringgit and will wipe out my savings <coughs> brings it back to zero and of course uh, the bike I have to fix it because safety first then I'm not gonna buy a cam I'm not gonna buy a camera already my dream camera which is the Sony AXP i5 no 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 not the axp p means projector i don't need the fucking projector on the camcorder ax55 4000 to 5000 ringgit great camera shoots 4k but 4k is not important but i want a stabilization the stabilization is good i don't want to walk around and people getting sick from watching my videos so some work here some gallivanting around, uh, I don't remember to, to go to a hobby shop in Tambun and I look at the kits, not Gundams, but uh, they have a lot of military kits because I've never done a military kits before. Uh, I loved World War II, Heil Hitler. Uh, this is a tiger which I bought, it accompanies a magazine, the first issue is cheaper so there's a, there's a tiger you don't need to do anything to this tiger this is a small tiger but uh, you know me I like to do stuff like Gundams you have to build it yourself so military kits like tanks and whatnot they are quite daunting and I'm not sure what companies to go to what size what skills so I want to go and ask Derek Ho of this uh, shop called I'm not sure I don't remember the name of the shop I want to go there and take a look at the the kits there and see how much it is and if there's an alternative of buying it online and, and the online one is cheaper then I must go for it so now is to record rent a quarter to reconnoiter to uh, scout out and see what brands are good according to daring and stuff like that so yeah I gotta go and like uh, tanks hobby I haven't been in Ipoh for three months man it's such a long time Go around looking for my friends. Looking, I only have one friend here, so so it'll be easy. You just go to his shop, the baker, Sam, Sam the baker. So he goes and eat some food, go and shoot some shoot, shoot some videos about food, which I've neglected for a long time already. Because when I was in KL, I was doing all the fashion and beauty pageants. It just took the took a lot of time, and I did not like go and eat some food and shoot some videos about food and stuff. So. See you, man. Vlog over and out. Ha, how? Have at you. <clears throat> Sayonara, bye bye. Give me some money, Patreon, or one off payment, PayPal. That desktop is not gonna pay itself, right? Yeah.